I'm here with the preachers of L.A., and we're going to have a preach-off. Each pastor gets 30 seconds to do a sermon. The title this evening is Life is Not a Reality Show. You, sir. Well, I heard a preacher one time say in a movie that if God can deliver Gilligan off the island, he can actually deliver you from anything. Just what God's done in my life, he can do in your life. If Jesus can save a guy like me, redeem me, empower me, set me free from my past, and empower me for my future, God can hook you up too. There is life after mistakes. You can look to Jesus. He will change your life. Uh, he left you a couple seconds. Uh, Life is not like a reality show. You will not get rated at the end of every week. What is important is that at the end of your run, the executive producer of life gives you a well done. And I want you to understand that even if you were not able to keep up with a Kardashian, it really doesn't matter. What matters is you receive abundant life, and at the end of it, Jesus tells you, well done. This is what life is all about. And one other thing I want you to understand, no matter what mistakes you make, he will never cancel you. He will always reach out to you, lift you up, and embrace you. There you are. Listen. Well, to understand the real issues of life, we can argue from two standpoints. The first standpoint is that when you understand life, you realize that you will never ever sit in front of 1.2 or 1.5 million people at any one time to decide who you are. The second thing to realize is that whenever you know God and you understand the things of God, you understand that he and he alone is the one who keeps your records. And all of us have to approach him by faith and we approach him seeking grace. We seek grace because none of us at any time can argue with God that I don't need your grace. I am living so well that I no longer need grace. Dietrich Haddon, 30 seconds. I, I want to flip it on you. Life is a reality, but it's not a show. See, the things that you're going through are real. The tests and trials and tribulations that you're facing are real. But you have to face reality with maturity and understand that the God that you serve will bring you out of any storm, any test, any trial. I don't care what you're going through. Let me encourage somebody. Hold on. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly and above all that you can ask or think according to the power that worketh in you. Baby, you got power. So stand strong and know that God is going to bring you out. Yeah. Thank you, Life is not a reality show, but life is real. The whole world is a stage, and everybody's playing a part. And at the end of the day, you're going to have to take your mask off. In, Bible, in biblical days, they called it a hypocrite. There's a scripture in the Bible that says that no one knows the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man shall appear. You know, you can find truth in anything. And I found it in a nursery rhyme entitled, Little Boy Blue, Go Blow Your Horn. The sheep are in the meadow and the cows are in the corn. Where is the little boy that, that looks after the sheep? Well, he's under a haystack, fast asleep. Listen, we preachers are looking over the sheep, and it's time for us to blow our horn. We have hatred. We have thrill killers. We have kidnappers. Things are out of order, and it's time for the preachers to cry loud and spare not and lift up their voice like a trumpet in Zion. Jesus is coming soon. Are you ready? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've asked the same question that you asked, and that is, why are preachers on, on Halloween? Romans says that God causes all things to work together for the good of them that love the Lord and are the called according to his purpose. In other words, God has a way of flipping the script. Here it is with paganism running rampant, cults again lifting up pagan idols, people at this moment dressed up like zombies. And here it is, preachers on television, national television across the country, lifting up the name of Jesus the Christ. When zombies pray, you know that God works things together for his good. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a preach-off, but you knew from the start they're all winners.